Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to Ashano and Friends TV with me, Ashano. We're here for the second match of this evening, and frankly, guys, it is going to be a big one. It's Miso Tech, so you know it's going to be drama, but it's even bigger. It is the 26th round of Oz Fortress Highlander League, and they are going for their 12th straight title win. That is, of course, Miso Tech Industries going for that. Their opponent, and it's not often that I can say this, the Underdogs VD. Two times UGC winner, both times that it's been run in Australia. They have taken out the gold medal. And, um, yeah, this is the rematch. Last time these guys met, round 15, uh, Misotech came out winner, four rounds to three. Now, as usual, it's a show and friends. I have a friend, and my friend tonight, No Mercy, has been around um, Oz Fortress and, Hi and um, TF2 in Australia for quite some time, so he'll be helping me out tonight. No Mercy, how are you this evening? Hey, I'm good, thanks, Ashano. Yeah, I've been playing TF2 for way too long. It's not healthy. It's but, uh, not this healthy be at all. Fun. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going the, uh, well, I didn't actually get a chance to uh, introduce the two teams, but as I mentioned, VD and Misotech. As we watch TG actually failing his rollouts and dying already, Dangerous Dave. I'm not too sure who that is uh, on the demo there for uh, VD, but it's looking sticky good. into each other in, like, just a flying pipe <laughs> attacks and... I was just watching TG missing jumps, but straight away we've got VD on the Ascendancy, they're, uh, they're taking time on the point, it's about a 6 times cap up. This is of course guys, Koth Arctic, it's a Koth map, as you all know, as you know how this game goes. And uh, Drat there with a nice headshot onto Shrak, so straight away VD looking very good on this uh, on this first rollout here, no mercy. Yeah, it's nice to see that'll be a pretty interesting uh, sniper versus sniper battle throughout most of this map. Both players obviously pretty experienced. Um... Division 1 players, but with the Pyro here on super low health, Davey actually needs to get a lot more health so that they can uh, just keep the attrition off this point, but that's a pretty early uber by Luke, and uh, Siski's going to be quite comfortable with the counter uber just in her own time, so I suspect that uh, at least another 60 seconds of control should go in the way of VD here. Uh, see how uh, level 1 sentries brought up behind, I think Mesotech has actually taken full control of that tunnel underneath, and uh, they do actually need to clear that out if they don't want to we shouldn't be the hardest thing to clear out, but uh, as long as there's that flanking pressure, Siski's in a bit of trouble, and yep, Ke Kaiser takes her down, so uh, nice plays there, and that will cue the uh, rush across the point here, Ashano. Yeah, absolutely. After that very early uber pop, they really shouldn't have been able to do it, but as you mentioned, they just controlled up the point, used a little bit of that superior DM that they perhaps do have, and uh, managed to cap up this well. Still working on the cap point, actually. Need to get a few more t players on that point, because already a minute and six or so seconds gone for VD. And uh, only now, just, is Misotech managing to get some time on the point. Kaiser looks like he's going to be able to take down the Sniper here. And uh, in a duel with uh, the Scout, but that's a uh, Yuki anime uh, takes down Kaiser. So, uh, nice little battle there. But uh, with only four players left alive, the guys from uh, Misotech at the moment, I'm surprised they managed to hold this on. I was actually expecting VD to uh, come and take control there. But uh, just the, this little bit of annoyance, that level 1 sentry and the uh, soldier spam from top left... We believe is from uh, Ori. Just uh, wasting a lot of time here as Edge is coming in for a for a sap. Really, of all the things he wants to get, he's going to go for the dispenser. So, uh, <laughs> well, you know what they say: dispenser down, put, move off that. But um, yeah, it looks like uh, Mesa Tech doing very well. I don't actually know how they managed to control up that point. Um, you know, mini sentries on this map work really, really well. You can actually be protected with your mini sentry there on that map on the point for quite some time. Uh, but VD now getting a little bit of time on the point. Adji was trying to get some point uh, some point pressure up, but he does actually go down there uh, to the body shot from Shrak. And a lot of players going down right now for VD. It looks like Misotech fairly in control of this round so far. Yeah, Daniel, uh, I mean, he's bottom scoring for his team, but he's just not dying. The sniper doesn't seem to be able to get an angle on him. And so long as that heavy is 450 HP and you don't have, like, a counter uber, there isn't really a good way to sort of take ground because he's just going to constantly be there as that deterrent mid-range spamming. So uh, it's buying music tech a lot of time. In fact, they've taken over now at 125. So uh, that early initial control by VD has been uh, pretty much mitigated. And yeah, Siski's 40% Uber, nowhere near the 100% from Luke Dang. So unless someone can actually get in and pop this Uber here, uh, they're going to be hard pressed to uh, get the first pop and control. As Siski's going to die, he huge work. Actually, amazing. <laughs> I think Ori's going to live and uh, not get the medic kill. So. Uh, lucky Siski. Yeah, the Uber is actually being popped now for Misotech. Didn't really get a great deal done with it. Basically, taking did go down, trying to get some forward pressure going on. 
but uh, not too much. And actually, Edge on the background there, coming in and getting the stab onto Luke Dangs. So that is a lot of uh, uber yeah, advantage huge. over the way of VD. So they're coming in forward with the heavy now, getting blown back by the uh, by the pyro there. But it looks like they're going to get some nice pressure point point pressure moving forward. They need to take out that mini sentry on the roof there, though. Otherwise, it's going to wrangle up and uh, really delay this point cap. Yeah, that was a pretty awful uber by the um by VD. I mean, as much as it's important not to let your heavy ever die, I'm pretty sure this would hold in Highlander as in sixes, that an Ubit heavy dunt doesn't actually do a lot. They just kind of leave and go, all right, we won't fight that unkillable machine. Whereas no, if that's... they had maybe a soldier or a demo to actually contribute to the Ubit, they probably could have got a lot more done, a lot more forward ground. But they did take the cap, and that's what counts here. Yeah, no, look, that's absolutely true. Um... I hate solo uh, heavy Uber going forward. It just it does nothing. If they had have had uh, the demo and the medic and um, and the soldier there, but Basti was down just before that uh, that push went off. But uh, it looks like Mesotech uh, Meso did try and come forward, but they're losing a lot of their players in the banana there, in the garage area. And it looks like Luke Deng's only on 30 health. It does go down to Yuki there. Yuki with a swift two or three kills in succession. So it looks like VD coming back a little bit. Siski on about 35% Uber should have it up and able to defend this point. So. Yeah, coming forward to a fairly nice conclusion to this first round, I would say. Yeah, that was really nice by uh, BD. They really managed to uh, get a lot of sort of splash damage in, as you said, that banana area. Just too many players taking too much damage together. Um, this, I'm interested to see if both teams are using the uh, teleporters in similar locations, because they've been pretty instrumental to the uh, teams getting forward here. Almost might be worth the um, edge trying to get in and actually sap that Kanye level 3 teleporter, but... Uh, 44 seconds here left on the point. They, it's interesting how they've got players so forward sort of holding the point VD and yet they can't seem to control the, uh, the crate above them which is probably where they was taking the most damage from if Ori or um, I guess the demo man's able to get in up there as that's exactly where Kanye's actually trying to build his sentries. Maybe a little too ambitious but uh... It yeah, I'd say so, but it, it's doing work though. I mean, TG pops Agi, both Ubers, uh, no, the uh, the VD Uber's actually popped out now. Mesotech's simply running away right now, basically taking, going crazy, trying to take down the Pyro. does manage to get it done, but not too much else. That was actually a really good uh, Uber bait there out of the uh, out of the Mesotech team. They just pushed mm. forward, popped it, and then retreated in the face of it. And now uh, Luke Dang's on about 85% Uber, and they're recapping up this point now. Yeah, not only did they bait the Uber with that to not, to not do much, but they also were able to kill the Heavy and the Demo Man through the Uber, sort of just before and the tab wasn't there. So uh, the lack of those two classes is just way too important for the core of your team. This Heavy coming and dropping onto the point might be able to force the Uber pop. He's definitely not going to get away with his life as uh, he's yeah finally gets finished off by Kaiser and Luke. But uh, big plays there, and uh, this is going to go down into overtime. Ten seconds left. But the numbers aren't really there. BVD's in all sorts of trouble. Soldier in up high. That's base, basty taken. I'm going to call him tasty bacon. There's no way okay. that's correct. No, basty taken it is. But it looks like Mesotech's actually retreating in the face. This, uh, the scout does come in. Pop the medic though. Yuki's having a scout duel on the point. Does actually go down. The engineer comes in and does take down that scout. It's only the engineer capping up for VD right now. We're in double overtime. And it looks like Mesotech needs to just come forward and throw players at the point right now. Yep, cap it and win is the story. Here comes the heavy, but that sentry is just being so obnoxious. Engineer is going to finish off the cap. Flying Demo Man comes in. Wow. And there we go. First round taken down. Wow, that was some clutch plays all around at the end, and most notably by They Call Me Engie. And well, you can see why, because he's Engie work, doing great stuff there. I'm trying to find the demo for uh, VD right now. He's going to go crazy. Dangerous Dave is jumping all the way right now, trying to land onto the medic. And actually, he's spotted. No, he's not spotted. <gasps> He's the missing pipes, he does actually get down the medic though, that's huge! Get a two kill right there, and it looks like VD should have a fairly easy time of capping up this first point here. I think my favourite part of that was he missed almost all <laughs> the pipes, then got the fourth one, and then reloaded and shot a pipe into a stationary sniper, which enabled that he was sure to hit the splash on the medic, so uh... Poor old sniper there, not really helping his team out, as Edge is in a pretty aggressive position here to probably stab the heavy. Never mind, the heavy disappears, so he's going to go for the soldier instead, or he just kills himself on that spy, so uh, we'll call it a draw. But yep, as you said, VD taking control of the point off that uh, early engine, that early demo man work, and uh, they'll be in pretty comfortable position here, 100% Uber, Raj. Yeah, you would hope so. Uh, really, Mesotech at this point needs to come forward. We actually are seeing Ori on the direct hit, so we might be trying to get a little bit of uh, medic sniping out with that. I'm going to follow his cam for a second. I don't know, usually, I don't think this map really suits direct hit, to be honest. There's really only one or two jumping classes that you ever need to worry about. Um, and they're normally actually on the crate, not on the way up to the crate, so... We'll see how it works out. Not really working out for him too well so far. Yeah... Just so long as you don't casually jump while 
someone's spamming uh, that gun at you, you usually fine. It's, oh, and uh, I... when the guy does sort of that, those accidental midis that you really get yourself punished with a direct hit. As uh, the Uber did get popped here by Siski, and she's gonna. Oh, nice shot by Shrak taking down Dangerous Dave, the uh, demo man. So uh, they're kind of losing players left, right, and center here. Shrak's starting to take over. Just he's found an angle to uh, work with a sniper, and Drat hasn't been able to take him down yet. So Drat seems a bit more focused in trying to get the uh, opponent medic. That being, of course, Luke Dangs. Yeah. Um... Probably what they need to do right now. I mean, they are at an uber disadvantage. Luke Dangs does have his 100%, but VD an orderly retreat, meaning they didn't lose too many players in the face of that uh, in face of that push. But also, Mesotech did not pop right there, so they're in a very dominant position at the moment. Siski on about 60% uber, so maybe they're just happy to uh, let me uh, let Miso have this point for just a few seconds and push back in with it. Hmm. Yeah, not a lot happening. I think Mesotech are thinking if they can take even more forward ground here. So uh, that'd probably be a little bit overambitious as Adji is uh, in good position. There's a pirate behind them actually. That must be uh, Ice, who's managed to get fully onto the uh, VD flank. And uh, yep, Uber pops in here. They should be able to take the good point. Yuki's going to take down the pyro, but Shrak with a nice headshot taking down Davey. Just uh, continuing to do work here, in fact outscoring the medic. So uh, another yeah. defense held by uh, Mizotech. Yeah, and once again, leading the Uber in onto that heavy, I, I really don't like it. The demo dam was there, but uh, he actually went down fairly early in that piece, I believe. So, uh, not really getting a great deal of work done with that Uber push. And uh, as a result, Mesotech looking pretty nice holding the point right now. They are a few players down right now, including their demo. So, uh, maybe I think it maybe is uh, VD's turn to push right now. There's a Girardi out onto the heavy and the Soldier up into that banana area. So, they need to move forward. Basically, taken does jump forward, get a nice stab. Oh. Edge also in the background, taking down the Medic. So, that's exactly the plays that VD needed to do. Yeah, nice timing by Edge there to acknowledge that uh, right now, as my team is moving forward, they're not going to be they're going to be the least focused from that back sort of spy as any time. So uh, that's when medics are sure to be looking forward. You uh, get those sort of comfortable stabs, and uh, he did in fact get his prize. As the rest of Mizotech are falling like flies, only Davy Med and uh, Demo Man left alive, and they're just going to have to get pretty much back all the way into spawn if they want to. Uh, Survive and wait for a respawn is here. Yeah, big credit to Drat for that. He's actually just hit three headshots in a row. He's lining up the medic. Can he get it? No, he misses one, misses two, but does miss, uh, does hit that third one. Luke Deng's going down. That's a huge play there out of Drat with a huge four kill in the face of about 20 seconds. A yeah, five kill gonna, now. <laughs> if you're going to keep dancing in front of him, he's going to keep hitting you guys. Uh, find another door. Absolutely. Hello. Oh, huge play out of Shrek coming into the top left and actually managed to take down Siski from behind with a snap headshot. That was actually really, really huge. That puts the uber advantage back in favour of Mesotech. So uh, it's something they really need with only 43 seconds left on the clock. I actually like this map for snipers. It doesn't feel overpowered, but there is a lot of strong angles to work with. Uh, Shrek and Drak definitely giving us a crash course in what's possible here. Uh, interesting note, Luke Dang's on the crits Krieg now. He's only at 70%, but... Uh, I'm expecting crits heavy not too far into the future as they're moving on to this point but unable to get cap percentage yet just too many defensive bodies still standing on it and miraculously Daniel is going to live yeah it's going to work out well they got the uber uh, the crits up now I'm watching the TG cam but he's actually gone underneath he doesn't have the medic attached to him VD uh, oh, Mesotech's pushing forward never mind ice on top of that counter counter pyroing getting rid of that spy reflecting him back and uh, yep Cap's taken over, Luke Dangs has his crits up. Hope he doesn't get too greedy with his crits and just try to use it for value because uh, they really should wait until VD are, are bunched up as possible for that and make sure they get that medic with his crits Krieg. I think probably they need to be going now. Their medic is all over on the top left on the left hand side around that hut area. I'm wondering if we're gonna see it on the heavy or onto the demo. Uh, I feel like demo usually is better, but heavy right now could work. One minute left right now. Oh, demo for... would be incredible right now. They're so bunched up VD. Yeah, I'm keeping my camera on, TJ, but the minute goes down, Edge with a huge two-stab, that's going to put an end to any of those ideas, and right now VD should just be pu pushing forward, capping up this point and winning this round. Well, maybe they won't, maybe they're just going to flirt with the point and uh, not really get too much done, I don't know. Daniel's well, trying to come forward. Here. He's just taking a lunch break. Yeah, having a snack on the, on the sandwich there. <laughs> before he's back in it for a double kill, as uh, Drat with another huge double before finally taken down by uh, Saucely Natalie. Looks like there's been some class changing here by Mesotech as a... Uh... No, maybe I'm wrong, but it was a... Take that back, it was a headshot by the, um, by the spy, not a... Not a sniper headshot. Uh, the old ambassador doing work there. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's a quick 2-0 rounds in favour of VD. They're fairly impressive, certainly not dominant like we know that they can be, but they're getting the job done. TG coming forward and gets taken down absolutely immediately. It's basically taken with a bomb and a nice rocket there. Uh, so it looks like, once again, VD is in a fairly dominant position. Heavy goes down as well for Mesotech. VD looking quite nice right now. They have lost their, uh, their sniper and their demo, though, but time on the point for them. Yeah, Luke was not healing for a large portion of that rollout, and then when he re-ended, it died pretty quickly for Heavy. So that's pretty devastating. Um, even with nine players, not having that sort of... like It's almost 2,000 worth of heals you're probably losing in that time period. It's pretty devastating, and uh, VD will just take control of the point off that. Uh, it looks like Siski with Heavy in tow, looking for somewhere quite forward to set up here, actually in the house, and they're going to find Daniel. Poor old Heavy versus Heavy Medic isn't the fairest of battles. Um, and I'm just noticing right now that uh, the VD demo is actually running the... Um, is he running the pain trade? No. Okay. No, the, um, the shield. But no, he's not. Okay. I was a bit crazy there for a second. I oh no, he is running the jumper work. though. Just so we can sticky jump and then fire pipes. I think so. Yeah, it's working. He just took down the uh, the sentry, yeah, uh, the sniper really nice. up in his nest. <laughs> I don't think Shrek's happy about that one either. <laughs> this is like uh, <laughs> two four counter jumping the snipers all the uh, all over again. But uh, absolutely, and it's yeah, working. I mean, well, the snipers are being so effective that I mean, if you're gonna if you can just commit yourself to countering them, even on an important class like Demo Man, it's still going to have a meaningful impact in the way this map has been playing out because. Uh, Heavies can take all the heals and yeah, just absolutely. don't let Drat and Track do their things. You'll probably be able to uh, win the attrition battles. Probably. We actually did see the crits coming forward out of Luke Dings. Didn't really get too much done. The counter Uber, though, got even less done for VD. They actually gave up the point under that Uber, so that's not something you really ever want to do. But a minute 41 left right now for VD. They're in a fairly dominant position again in this third round with Shrak popping off body shots left, right, and center. Oh... Daniel taken down by Edge, so that's heavy down. Probably worth going off that. Oh, but Dangerous Dave, not able to do too much. Trying to just bombing in without support. Um, they don't need the Ubi here, VD, to push, but they're really low on health right now with basically taken only on one HP and uh, no real engineer setup at the moment. It's uh, still pretty comfortably in the way of Mesotech. And as I'm kind of finding, it is a lot harder to push when there's nine players on your team because uh, so long as maybe still five or six of them are alive, it's... Um, you need a pretty overwhelming player advantage to actually be able to take ground here. Well, that, and things like the wrangled up mini sentry. Oh, we actually seen seen the crits and the uber coming out. As usual though, uber does win, so VD in a very good position. Transferring that uber over to the scout does take down the heavy, but can't quite finish off that, uh, the medic as he retreats there though. The direct hit does take down a few players, but Yuki's still going strong, does actually manage to take down the medic, or was that... Um, no, that was actually a headshot from Drat, so... Great stuff. A lot of players dead right now, but still, VD recapping up this point. 1 minute 40 seconds left, 1 minute and 44 left for Mesotech. Yeah, it was a nice Uber by them. Uh, taking a lot of ground, good use of the uh, tabs Uber on the Yuki there. I'm sure he would have been yelling for that as, um, I think he's using the triple jump on Scout, which, uh, God, I didn't know <laughs> that item existed. That's truly disgusting, but, uh... <laughs> uh no mercy, a friend awful. of the unlocks. Ugh. <laughs> no, they had fun. Um, oh, Heavy versus Scout. Yuki actually emerged victorious, taking down Daniel there in the flank room. Or the uh, under tunnel. I guess I'll call it tunnel. And, uh, yep. Despite that, a two-player advantage here for the guys from VD, but they're not really able to take this ground yet. Now they're slowly moving forward. Uh, the uh, Heavy kind of consolidating. Once again, they like to stick themselves forward on that point, protected from the sniper by the... Um, crate as once again the heavy is going to be ubered in against the crits but it seems like edge is the one that's actually finding all the kills yeah edge all over that crits and i mean if they're going to continue running the crits mesotech needs to work out uh when they've got their advantage and use it and in a fashion that's not against that uber because as much as i don't like uh ubered heavies going forward and attack an ubered heavy is not going to die to a crit so that's going to work or he taking down basically taking the top right hand side there with that direct hit so it's finally paying dividends yuki however getting lots of kills uh, and Ori killing himself with a direct hit in an attempt to take him down, I believe. Uh, but still, 14 seconds left. This is kind of getting desperate now for Mesotech. They need to be moving forward. They need to be trying to get some pressure on this point, uh, and they're doing it without a player advantage. With Adji down, they may be able to get some ground, but there's still a lot of numbers here. Shrak's just spamming shots at uh, Siski. The Heavy is finally in on the point, so it seems like desperation is the key to success here. Didn't need anything, just the will to commit. But uh, basically taken in from high, just doing a lot of soldier damage as well. 
Looks like it's going to be probably held here. More numbers seem to be alive for the defense. But uh, just not a very good class composition from VD. And they may actually have to give this cap up in the face of the demo. But Drat with a clutch headshot takes down TG from almost point blank range. Uh, that's a lot of percentage on this point. But they may actually have been able to stop it. Engineer suicides. And they finally get the cap. But, uh, <laughs> you know, with a minute 40 seconds. And I believe a pretty large uber advantage here for VD. I don't think they should have too much trouble being able to take this back. Just uh, wait for their numbers, wait for their Uber, and uh, look for the victory. Yeah, I think that's it. And the Uber's only 6% away right now. And in fact, it is up on Siski right now. So uh, I think that's probably going to be the harbinger of their push. Oh. And I think... Oh, Drak getting kills as well. And uh, Edgy com Edge coming in the back, getting backstabs as per usual. And it uh, looks like VD is taking control of this fairly easily. Oh, and Davey I with a reflect rocket into Shrak. He is not going to be happy with that one at all. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that was aimed at him or the century, but... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, too many numbers on this cap. It would be a miracle if they could get here. They know they have to walk up into it, but just looking at that heavy pyro, there's just like... Maybe next time. And 3-0 uh, for VD, so this is slowly becoming more and more convincing, Shano. Yeah, look, absolutely. I expected them to be able to take a win. I didn't think they'd do it, well, in a fairly, you know, dominant fashion like it has been. Following Dangerous Dave on the rollout, trying to get that caber kill. Can't see it, but he hasn't been spotted. Uh, in fact, he has been spotted by the spies, trying to go for a jump, but no, just gets, gets taken down. So, uh, Misotech, if they're ever going to win, win the initial possession of the point, I think it has to be now, with no demo for VD. I loved seeing Basie take and they're using the uh, whip to make sure his medic heavy would get to the midpoint faster than the opposing med heavy. That was awesome. That's actually a strategy that, like, about a year ago in Highlander, every single map you would just do it, no matter what it was. But uh, it's fallen off. As actually Shrak gets a huge headshot onto Siski, so uh, evening up those Ubers there, because Luke Dings did actually go down earlier on in that fight. And uh, it looks like through all of it, even though Misotech did actually end up getting that first pick, they did lose the point. So uh, once again, VD looking very strong. Interesting to see that Natalie has been opting for the uh, Dead Ringer plus. Uh, headshotting with Ambassador combo, pretty much the opposite of what Edge has been doing, much more traditional sort of um, invis cloaking, which I think with the cloak and dagger, and uh, then just actually going for the kill as Yuki tries to get him <laughs> with his triple jump, Melita death, but Kaiser with the counter Boston Basher kill shows him what's up. So uh, that'll keep him in place. Won't let him get too big of a head. And right now, Misotech looking absolutely amazing. Only three players left alive right now for VD. Two players left alive. Siski should be running. I don't know where they are, but should be running all the way back uh, to spawn right now because Misotech looking to cap, cap up this point for the first time this round and uh, are doing so fairly successfully. We are on um, on the crits, and it's going to be heavy pew pew lasers coming forward, or maybe we're going to switch to the demo, but they're going very aggressive with these crits. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I guess they're just getting a bit impatient, but they will find some kills. As Daniel <laughs> well and truly kills that dead scout and then grinds his body <laughs> into the ground. With that was some well. hatred for that scout. <laughs> <laughs> Real hatred. Well, it didn't do too much in the context of the game, but I'm sure it made him feel better. As uh, the demo for VD tries to go for another huge jump jumps all the way across the map, and now trying to jump all the way back to get back to base. Uh, does a lot of jumping, but doesn't really do anything of substance. Yeah, well, when there's so many players on your team, it, you can't really expect uh, as much heals as the demo man, so you just kind of fall into this derpy secondary role. But uh, it's a hell of a lot of fun, I can tell you that much, as... Uh, <laughs> He's been getting his pipes on. Basically, taking takes down that Kanye sentry gun. Finally, I don't want to know how much crit shotgun he's earned off that back of that. As a uh, heavy on the point, finally taken down. Basically, taking finishing off Daniel. The sentry is back in place. So, and yeah, does Mesotech just have too many numbers on this point to um, take it well, out? The crits are actually at now. Crits. Uh, yeah, from Misotech, but oh no, straight away Drat with an amazing headshot there onto Luke Dings. Does take him down, so no more crits for him, and actually does get counter-sniped by Shrak there, so good stuff. But a lot of Misotech players down right now. It should be fairly straightforward with the Uber for, uh, for VD to come forward and cap this up. And in fact, they probably shouldn't even need the Uber for that. Yeah, they don't have a lot of numbers alive here, but um, only three up now for the guys from Misotech. Nice work, they're just flashing through. I think Yuki got a large percentage of those kills, along with um, TG basically taken. So, uh, yeah, a lot of really nice plays by them by the soldier as they begin to slowly catch up. This would be a 4-0 uh, if they actually win this. And uh, Mizotech have been struggling to uh, reclaim, the, claim the cap once they've lost it. So um, they're going to have to try to do something special here. And I'm don't think this crit is the answer. I tell you what is special though, Yuki getting six melee hits in a row onto Luke Dings, getting 
the kill with no one turning around to look at him. That was that was amazing. Caught that one whole on camera. And yeah, what it means is VD pushing it. forward. Luke yelling in mumble going, <laughs> Please, please save me. Uh, he, just, he ended up just pulling out his melee to try and get the counter kill, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. It's now actually the round in favour of Miso uh, VD for the first time. And, uh, well, if the last three rounds are any indication, it will be fairly swiftly over for Mesotech. Oop, Shrak takes down Drat with a nice counter shot after Drat's body shot uh, only gets him low. But Edge, with, once again with the double, takes down Medic and Heavy. He's, um, he's doing work, Mishano. Yeah, well, he's known as probably one of the better spies in Highlander at the moment, uh, and, well, absolutely proving why. He does get taken down there from a point-blank uh, direct hit, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Siski actually is down right now. Luke Dang's on about 10% Uber, so uh, Misotech probably need to move now if they're going to move, but uh, I don't think it's going to be enough. Too little, too late. Already missing his uh, middies there on a flying demo man with a direct hit. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be ruining that uh, potential frag video. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, it looks like Mesotech is actually moving forward right now. They've got the coverage of that wrangled up mini sentry from the roof of the hut there. Uh, and Angie actually taking down Luke Dangs. I don't know how that works where you let a heavy run forward and take down a medic, but it happened. Um, and it looks like Mesotech losing a lot of players on around the point, but uh, maybe VD losing more. Yeah, they call me Angie's in pretty good position here with this wrangler mini sentry though. It's uh, definitely holding off the stave of players on point by a lot as a track kind of gets manhandled <laughs> there by ice. Yeah, and once again, um, Misotech capping up that point when it's 0-0 zero, zero left for VD. So, you know, a minute and 23 left for VD to push. Siski does have a small uber advantage, but uh, if Misotech keep losing players the way they are, it's not really going to matter. Four times up on the point. Over. Yeah, should be uh, a fairly swift right now. Misotech going down. It will not be 12 in a row for Misotech. It will, in fact, be 11. Mesotech going down four rounds to zero. I don't think anyone really expected it to be that dominant from VD. Yeah, very strong performance by them. Drat top scoring there. But, you know, I mean, it wasn't any one player standing out. I felt like everyone kind of did a fair amount of work. I mean, I think Dangerous Dave might be Paulson now, I think about it, which would explain why he was flying over and trying to pipe people to death. But, yes, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, really impressive performance by them and... Uh, a reign on the Highlander League table finally ended. Absolutely, they will be crushed. Their um their shareholders meeting will not be happy. I just want to point out, Davy I and Adji both at one point had three doms each. So uh, yeah, very dominant performance from those guys. So uh, well, that's it, guys. A new Oz Fortress Highlander League title holder has emerged to go with their two UGC championship wins. I think this is about the third or fourth, not consecutive consecutively, obviously for VD, but um. Well, they're it now, so uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed that game. I've been Ashano. With me has been No Mercy. Uh, no Mercy, any last thoughts? Um, not really. I enjoyed this a lot, man. You'll have to get me in to do more Highlander casts soon. Very good. I shall indeed do that. So um, that's really it for me. Thank you to both teams for, um, for playing, and uh, let the It's Been Real in the match thread commence.